What's up guys, welcome back to City Skylines where you will notice things look very very different and that's because I got a very helpful email from Thomas, so thanks Thomas for shooting me an email, um, explaining all the mistakes that I'd made. Um, now I couldn't remember all his advice, but a good portion of it, and so what I did was I went ahead and restarted. And I've caught up to about roughly where we were before. Um, and then from now on, we're going to go back to our collaborative building style. Where, between us, we're going to design and build our city. So, Halo is back. Um, we now have the ridge, which is um, not the most glamorous area of Lancaster, but in this game it's... I'm going to be sort of a high value living area next to uh, a park which shares its name uh, which I've cleverly put on a ridge nicer um, over here we need to we need a name for this small residential area and here we've got the green which is um, it was rural farmland but it's already pretty well encroached on um, so it won't stay this way forever but at the moment you'll see this is pretty much how we built the we built the city around our agriculture really this was our big economic driver um, initially um, whereas now we're starting to see factories prop, pop up over on Whiteland um, I've got the coal power plant back, I've got the wind turbines I've tried to keep it as true to the original design as possible just neater and not so stupid so you'll see what I've done here is I have raised the highway and at the moment it's bisecting this so shall we say the the first suburbs um, of what will be a greater city which builds across both banks of the, the river um, by raising it up I believe that helps with noise although I'm open to being corrected on that but it, it really just um, any roads that pass underneath will not be interfered with by the highway or vice versa so we're not going to have loads of junctions on the highway um, which again just, it just causes traffic problems um, there's there's no way around it really other than putting your highway underground or overground uh, or wombling free for that matter um, so Halo has become sort of a, a town in its own right it's got most of the services it needs to sustain itself I'm not looking to expand it much more really what I want to do is start saving up some money I've, I've made a bit of a start on that now and I want to move the highway up and then begin building the city sort of here and across there so this this area will stay kind of separate really from the, the true city and over here we're gonna have a forestry area where I, I really want um, to make use of the trees that nature has provided um, to boost our economy um, I might also, depending on how much space I think we'll need, purchase some more space here or here, just to get. I, I really like the look of these small, in, small rural communities, and I'd like something like this just transplanted further away, um, just for a bit of character, really. Um, again, your feedback is very, very welcome as we proceed, and um, what we're going to do over the next few episodes is I'll be watching for your feedback. You can send me an email, just like Thomas did to definitely zero at gmail.com um, also you can get me on twitter at definitely zero and uh, I do read all the messages um, I might not always be able to get back to you simply because you know I'm trying to make videos for you guys as well as you know working a regular day job and having a life um, it, it's incredibly difficult actually to stay on top of correspondence even though I don't get a great deal of it um, so what I'm going to do this will be a super short episode. I'm just really showing what's what's happening, but I'm going to begin um, adding a few bits here and there, a few touches. Um, I'm quite pleased with how the park has come out. It's just it's a nice divider from uh, the more upmarket area of town, or what will become the more upmarket area of town. Um, I've removed the Berlin landmarks so far because I think they really need a, a true urban setting. To, to look right so you know like all posh places we've got a tennis club because you know posh and uh, I've put down a nice plaza which this is zoned as commercial so hopefully we get some you know pavement cafes or whatnot um, 
So, really, what I'm thinking at the moment, it might be a good idea to invest early in some public transport. We've got a bit of a budget surplus. So, I'm going to set up a bus route <coughs> which will service Hala and another route which will take people from Hala through what's now called Heather Hills but will rename at some point and into the Green and, and Whiteland. Um, I don't think the ridge needs to be served by buses because um, frankly the people, the sort of people we're trying to attract there are not the sort of people who ride the bus. Um, so let's begin with that. I'm trying to I'm trying to think in advance where I want the train lines to run um, and whether I really need somewhere like Hala to be serviced by a, a train. Again, you know, if you guys have feedback on what's sensible here, uh, I will be grateful for it. I'm going to put the bus depot over in Whiteland simply because, you know, industry. I don't know if that's too far away actually to be effective, but never mind. And we're going to have just a line going around here, um, maybe connecting. Yeah, we'll have that swing by the park as well. So, one. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I forgot for a moment there that I'd actually put it on left-hand drive, you know, for the authentic UK feel. Hmm, do we want... yeah, why not? Okay, so that's one line complete. And then we'll use... What will we use as our interchange stop? I'm guessing this one, simply because it's on a... It's on a wider road. Um, so we'll have it go here, maybe we can't, um, how are we going to do this? I think this looks good. Why are you driving around there? Oh, because of the... Uh, idiot. That's one of the many times I'm an idiot. Can I get rid of that, please? No. No, oh, apparently not. Never mind. Um, so I'm going to have to begin thinking the other way around now. Um, <coughs> so what we want really is from you... No, other way. You to you to you. This is a stupid bus line, but whatever. To you to you. To you to you and doesn't know how to get round there, does it? Because it can't. I did not think this through, if that wasn't immediately apparent. I did not think this through. What can I do here? I could just connect these roads. I could just do that. what we're going to do. Yeah. And then you can come this way and round to complete the line. That's a stupid bus route, but I'm pretty sure it'll do the job. And then we have our buses, and what you'll see Thanks again to the modding community. That there, in yellow, 
is a genuine Berlin boss. Super cool. So, two bus routes up set up. Why is the showing as a road that's... Oh, it's a stop that's not connected. Well, in that case, we'll get rid of it. Can I get rid of it? There we go. I'll just have to walk a bit further to this bus stop. They'll live. It's fine. So now we have two bus routes going, and actually that's I don't know if it's a direct correlation, but our monthly budget has received a bit of a boost, really. We are making more money um, while hopefully keeping some cars off the road. Now, this actually may have been a smart decision I just didn't appreciate at the time. But I'm guessing this actually solves a problem I didn't know I had, which was that vehicles that wander over to this side of the city and then need to be over here had no way through. Um, also it means that these that things on this side are not having to clog up the uh, freeway to come over this side because now they've got an alternative route. It, I love it when a plan comes together. <clears throat> got a bit of a fire over here but they're on it. Okay so Super, super short update episode, but what we've done in this episode is lay down some bus routes and completely bulldoze our town for great justice. I hope you'll join me for the next episode. I'm aiming to get that out to you on Wednesday, so between now and then, if you have any feedback or suggestions, um, I am going to be naming things again next episode, so the stuff I named so far has not been replaced. Um, like and subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't, feel free to put a dislike or tell me where I'm going wrong. It's all good. I love to hear from you guys and uh, I will see you Wednesday.